you know you work in the boonies when they bring the tractor to go canoeing. And I'm kind of tempted to hop up here with them and look and hopefully not get arrested. Okay, getting ready to head out. Equalizer on. I got the new airbags are inflated to 28 psi. Looks like it's got a good ride. We'll let it go for a little bit. And uh, Caribou Daisy dog is ready to go. And that's about it, right, Daisy? Crossing from the Buckeye end of the Hoosier. And then merge left on US 40 West National Road East. Well, good morning from Boondockers. Welcome outside of Richmond, Eaton, Ohio. And head over to Eaton, Ohio to start, start a project. So this is William Bruce. This is my great, 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 great grandfather. He's what you call a three percenter. A real three percenter, not these crazy people that are running around. During the Revolutionary War, only three percent of the population stood up to fight. He did that. He joined the Seventh Pennsylvania under St. Clair and uh, served through the Revolutionary War. What is this stuff with William Bruce? He was born on the Potomac as a member of the Virginia colonies in the 1760s and he died in the 1800s in the state of Ohio, United States of America. Somehow got enough money together to buy 2,000 acres, laid and platted a town. So how do you learn to read and write? How do you learn to lay all this stuff out? Where was he? What did he do? Um, I think it'd be fascinating to follow the Revolutionary War battle sites and then uh, looking at how he got to where he was when he founded the town. He built a mill, built a grist mill and a lumber mill. Built his own house out of bricks he made himself across the road uh, from where part of the video was. And it's just kind of fascinating. So hopefully it'll be a video, a video series. It'll probably be in parts. It'll probably be integrated into my spring and um, winter ball travel. So right behind me is Israel Street, and according to the old books and records and newspapers, the mill was directly across from Israel Street, just up from the dam, and there's a covered bridge here. So I don't know if I've got any claim to the old family homestead or property uh, to get in on the profits of the golf course where the mill once stood, but uh, I'll look at some pictures and see if the slope of the land behind it compares to where the mill was but it's a good spot here along seven mile creek there's a little waterfall here and another one behind me and i don't know if the dam um, the location of the dam would have been accurate to a dam they might have placed
So this is the actual millstones uh, from the Bruce Mill marking marking the graves. So that's kind of cool. So kind of touching a bit of uh, bit of history there. Do this and not get completely, completely arrested. Here. Oh, sorry, William. Okay. 